nice big healthy nutritious food meal before playing today we're, fi we're batting um, I'm next in so hoping this will be the fuel I need to succeed Morning legends, it is Saturday morning. It is, here's Mrs. S. Hello. It is an absolutely beautiful day here in South Perth. We've got little Scarlett asleep in our pram. It is 8.45, we're just going for a little walk. Along the foreshore, Scarlett has been struggling to fall asleep at times recently, but as soon as we get her for a walk, put her in the pram, she falls straight asleep. So we've got her asleep in there. I've got my water bottle, drinking lots of water. We're batting today. I'm next in, so I'm trying to make sure I'm hydrated, drinking lots of water. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a little insight into my morning routine on game day. I've got Jacob, one of my videographers, coming around this morning. and going to shoot some footage of what I do on game day, so I hope you enjoy that. So I just got back from our walk down to the river, Mrs. S and I, um, she's just gone to get us some coffees. I'm having a little bit of time with Scarlett now that she's woken up. Um, she woke up early this morning, she woke up at 6.30, so I got up with her then. We played for an hour and a half, then we took her for a walk. So it's been a, an active, busy morning already, but nothing better than spending a little bit of time with my princess, who's just over four months old. Um, she's got a beautiful little personality. My brother's just got back from Japan, so he's bought her these little Japanese socks, but she's uh, certainly brightens up our day and, and keeps, us, keeps us busy and, and is just an amazing little thing. So a little bit of playtime with her. My mornings have changed significantly since she was born. Um, I used to be all about myself, obviously, and I used to, last year I was editing videos quite a bit on a Saturday morning. Now I don't do any of that. It's all about just trying to get as much sleep as I can the night before. Um, she was up, slept pretty well last night, went down about 8.30, took ages to get down to sleep. But then once she was asleep, she slept from 8.30 to 4 a.m. So I woke up then and then she woke up at 5. I had to get her back down at 5. So a bit of a broken sleep. So the mornings now are just about, usually on game day, are about sleeping in as much as I can. Then playing with her, having some time with her. Can we sit up for the camera? Ready? One, two, three. Yay! Good girl. Good girl. Now let's go back down. Good girl. Yay! She's got a beautiful smile. There's nothing better than seeing your, your child smile at you. So this is how my mornings are now. Spending time with her. Um, and then I'll have to, uh, it's now 9.30, got to leave about 10 o'clock, so I've had the last three hours with her and Mrs. S, and then I'll have to make myself some brekkie now and get myself together, get my stuff ready, and then get out of here by about 10 o'clock to be at the ground on time for warm-up, so. Yay! So I just went to the supermarket on the way back um, from getting, getting going for a walk with Scarlet, got some mushrooms, some bread, tomato and avocado, going to make myself... Uh, some eggs on toast um, with other little bits and pieces, um, which I'll show you now. But some mornings I'm a bit disorganised, I'm a bit rushed when I'm maybe things with Scarlet haven't gone to plan. Um, I have to grab some food on the way to cricket or whatever. But generally I try and cook a nice healthy breakfast. I've had periods where I haven't eaten bread and I'm going to probably go again where I'm not eating bread. Um, but right now I am, so I'm going to have um, eggs on toast. So I'll show you that now. I'm just cooking some, gonna chop up some mushrooms, cooking for myself and Mrs. S. Um, just pretty basic, nothing too fancy, but just gonna fry some mushrooms, fry some tomato, and then mash up some avocado, have some um, avocado smash, as they call it, um, and then put the eggs on top of the toast and the avo. So just pretty simple, but tasty. Um, some, every now and again I go out for breakfast with the boys on game day, um, but 
this morning I was spending some time with Mrs S and Scarlett, so I missed, missed the breakfast club that the Perth boys have every week. Bit of olive oil. And on the pan she goes. We got Scarlett making some noise in the background as she looks out the window. So that'll just fry for a couple of minutes. In the meantime, I'll uh, cut up the avo. Massive avocado just got from the shop. Nice, green, fresh avocado. Love avocado. Get some bread ready for toast. Obviously I'm a bit pushed for time on a Saturday morning before cricket so I I don't want to make it too complex and too difficult. I'd, uh, I'd, I'd absolutely love bacon and I often have bacon with this sort of meal but I'm trying not to eat it too much. It's not very good for you um, from all the studies so Mrs S is encouraging me not to eat bacon too often so I didn't go get any this morning. So I just... Get the avo out of its skin. I just, uh, Scarlett was crying as she was sitting watching, looking out the window, so I've just brought her into the kitchen so she can watch me cook. Get ready. You gonna be a good cook, Scarlett? Yes, Daddy. So I'm just trying to get this all this avo out away from the skin. And then I'll just mash that up. So we can put that on the toast. A big avocado, so I probably won't use the whole lot, it's a bit messy. Well, there's Mrs. S with the coffees. Coffee. Hello. Coffee. This is an essential part of every morning. Love my coffee. Just gone to get a coffee from Southside Espresso around the corner here in South Perth. Great little cafe. So love my latte. You guilty. So I've just got the uh, uh, mushroom and tomato just sort of fried up, that's pretty much ready to go, just waiting for the eggs, doing Mrs S's first, she's gluten free so I've got a gluten free bun in the toaster, I've just got to mash up the avocado and we're ready to go. So I'm just going to serve this up for Becca, a little bit of Vegetables, we've got her gluten-free bun, ready to go. And then we don't put butter on it, we're just straight with the avocado on to, it's not mashed very well. And I forgot to get a lemon, so it would be nicer and a bit softer with a lemon juice, but that's all good, it'll still be tasty, bit of avo. And then we'll get her eggs on top of that. It's a bit chunky, but still very edible. Edible. Cooking the eggs on low heat so they don't burn. On they go. Voila, breakfast for Mrs. S. Now I'll do my eggs and my toast, and it's breakfast time. Cooking with skulls. So I'm having three eggs for mine, um, I've just got to try and clean up as I go so it's uh, not all left to the end. That's uh, a really important thing with cooking, I think, is trying to not make a huge mess, but try and keep your workspace clean. Uh, so just packing stuff up. The toast is done, now my turn to get some of this avocado smash. I don't like wasting any. Onto my toast. Like I said, it'd be better, a little bit better with the lemon juice, but that's okay. Lots of avo smash. Can't have enough avo. Absolutely love it. What do you guys think of my breakfast? What do you think of my cooking? Let me know. Leave a comment below. Love to hear your thoughts. Give me some ideas on what I could be doing better. My eggs are nearly ready. I'm gonna flip them again. I've got three here. Let's see if I can flip them without breaking this time. Just wanna make sure the top's cooked. Yeah. Obviously there's a little bit uncooked. Just try and get them all properly done. But 
keep the yolks intact. What I probably could have done better is keep this warm, but it looks like it's still quite hot. Nice, big, healthy, nutritious food meal before playing today. We're, we're batting, um, I'm next in, so hoping this will be the fuel I need to succeed. The fuel I need to score runs. All right, we'll turn that off, turn that off, make sure the stove's off. Let's get these bad boys. Looks like the yolks are intact. There we go, legends. My breakfast on game day. What do you reckon? Good? Would you eat it? You'll be your tea. Here we go, just gonna tuck in. In the background, you can see I've got my hard drives and my laptop. This is my little workspace at the moment. I used to have a home office. Um, but just before Scarlett was born, we, I moved out and, and rented an office space. So when I do work from home, this is where I work at the end of the, end of the kitchen table here. And then this is where all the magic happens on our hard drives and the laptop. That's where we edit all these videos and, and try and produce all our content. So breakfast done. It's ten, five past ten. We're going to get going. I'm going to be at cricket at 10.30. So unfortunately for Mrs. S, I have to leave that here for her and Scarlett to clean up. There they are, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get on the road to the game. So I've got all my stuff. I always think through in my head. I visualise what I'll be wearing from all the layers. I need my speedos, my skins, then my playing clothes. I've got a short sleeve, a long sleeve, my hat, my warm up hat, my warm up gear. Got to make sure and tick it all off as I go. Two pairs of socks, playing socks, warm up socks. Um, I now need to get a towel. So for personally, some people I've seen have their own little checklist, but for me it's a mental thing. Um, but I try and get it all ready the night before, so I had all that ready on the side last night. Now this morning I don't have to run around finding things, I try and be as organised as I can. So this morning I can just chuck it in my bag and we can get out. An essential item for me, every cricket game or training, are these little bad boys, my contacts. Without them, I won't be able to see what I'm doing. Bye darling. You have a good day. You be good for mummy. Daddy's gonna miss you. Daddy will do his best today. Gonna make you proud. Yay! See you tonight. Good luck. Bye. cricket this morning with Spurry so I've got my kit out of my car, got my other essentials, my thongs, um, got my microphones, my tripod for some filming, chewing gum, got some lip balm in my pocket so we're ready to go. driving Spurry's car, he's um, filming in the passenger seat just to make it a little bit more realistic to what I'd be doing on, on game day. Normally I will travel on my own um, and it's just about trying to stay as relaxed and be in a good mood as I can. I try and pump some music, listen to some tunes that I enjoy. Um, if there's nothing on the radio I'll put Spotify on, listen to some of my favourite songs, relax. Sort of thinking about the day, but trying not to think too much about it. Just trying to stay as, as relaxed and happy as I can so that I can arrive at the ground feeling calm, feeling confident, and then just super relaxed. Today, um, big game for the team. Uh, we need another 130 or so. We need to win this game to play finals. I'm next in. We're in a good position, but um, just not going to think too much about the result. And I've also got to not worry about my own score. I haven't scored too many runs lately, but... It's all about just getting my process right. I've, I've trained well this week. I've had a hit um, four days this week. Um, I've, I've done my fitness. I feel like I've ticked all the boxes. I feel like I'm as prepared as I could be. And then it's all about today. Whatever happens, happens. I can't control the outcome. Um, hopefully the wicket's good, the weather's great. And now it's up to me just to 
get in the contest, get through my first 10, 20 balls, and once I'm in, then I can uh, then I can hopefully expand and, and, and bat a long time and score big runs. But it's all about getting through those first 20 balls and then just taking it one ball at a time. And for me, I've got to be positive. I play my best cricket when I'm positive. I've had a, a good reflection on my cricket in the last week or two after not doing so well the last few weeks before that. And I've, I've sort of, what I've realized is I was going into my shell too much. I was trying to just survive and bat time and that's not what gets the best out of me. That works well for some players. I'm gonna be careful as I merge here. Um, but for me, I play my best cricket when I'm positive and I'm looking to score. So today I'm going to be going out there from ball one, looking to score. Anything over pitch, I'll be looking to drive. Um, anything short, I'll be looking to pull. Uh, I might have to have a look at a couple on the back foot first. And once I get it my own, I can start pulling. But always looking to score because that's how I play my best cricket. So whatever happens, happens. Um, but hopefully we'll score a few runs and get a bit of footage of it as well. Something that's really important, I've sort of briefly mentioned earlier, um, is hydration on game day. So I've got my water bottle in between my legs, even though I'm having my coffee as well, which actually dehydrates you. It's not great for hydration, but I, I love my coffee. So I've got my water bottle, sipping on it all the time. I've been sipping on it all morning as I went for a walk and just sipping on it, trying to stay hydrated. Um, we dehydrate overnight. So first thing in the morning, we need to have a lot of water, rehydrate, and then just try and stay hydrated throughout the day. Um, as I, as if, I, if I'm in the middle for a while, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start dehydrating, so I've got to try and make sure my fluids are up from the start of the day, which is really, really important. Here we are arriving at Fletcher. Game time, baby. Heading into the ground now. Like I said, who knows what's going to happen today, but I've given myself the best chance. Good preparation, so now it's all about trusting myself, having fun, playing with a smile on my face. Let's go, though. 